The fact that we might be able to help save the planet just by getting powder everywhere like it's the 1980s is a weird science-y fact that boggles my mind. And we all know that the biggest hoax on flat Earth is climate change. I mean, it's absolutely insane to think that humans could affect the weather unless it's Democrats crashing hurricanes into the Carolinas. But how awesome would it be to own the libs and show them just how dumb and gullible they've been by proving all of those scientists and geologists and meteorologists and experts in their field and people who've been outside wrong by taking a bunch of that carbon out of the atmosphere and just showing them that, that nothing happened, right? They look so stupid. And some scientists at UC Berkeley may have found a way to help do just that. Now, if you're to believe the lamestream media, us burning fossil fuels is making the planet warmer, even though, you know, it's cold outside today and I just had to plow snow for like the first time in two years, but that's irrelevant. Can't be cold outside if the planet's getting warmer, right? But now the scientists say that's not even good enough, and if we don't take carbon out of the atmosphere, we're still gonna be fucked. So they've been researching carbon capture technology, and this is materials that will take carbon dioxide out of the air as it passes through. Problem is, is that's not quite as easy as it sounds because carbon only makes up about 0.04% of our atmosphere. So selectively picking it out can be difficult. And for the materials that can pull that carbon out of the air for them to be economical they have to be able to be reused so you have to be able to pull the carbon then out of that material and capture it and the current materials being workshopped for that have some downsides with that process the first being that is to get that carbon out those materials need to be heated up to around 240 degrees fahrenheit and heating stuff up uses energy energy costs money and a lot of times energy causes more carbon to be released you know because we burn fossil fuels to get it the other problem is that every time it goes through one of those processes or cycles it becomes less effective at capturing carbon. That means that the material needs to be replaced more often and that makes it less economical. But this new organic orange powder might just be the solution to that problem. The compound called COF999, which should help it resonate with conservatives, has amines in it that have a basic pH. And since carbon is acidic, when it passes by those amines, it sticks to them. And the stuff seems to work so well that when they left a jar of it sitting open outside, all of the air coming out of it was completely carbon free. It's so effective that 200 grams less than half a pound of the powder can absorb 44 pounds of carbon dioxide out of the air in a year. It's roughly the same amount of carbon sequestered by a large tree. Now, as impressive as that is, there's definitely carbon capturing materials that do an even better job in that respect, but COF999 has some other advantages that those do not. The first being that it's not such a greedy bitch and it gives up its carbon with a lot less coaxing. It only needs to be heated up to about 140 degrees Fahrenheit to break up with its greenhouse gases versus 240 degrees plus for the other materials. And that's important because 140 degrees is an easily achievable temperature with just reclaimed waste heat from industrial facilities. So places like power plants and concrete plants and manufacturing facilities likely wouldn't have to spend extra money on energy to recycle the material. That recycling process is the other place that this substance appears to shine because it can go 100 cycles without losing any efficiency. What's more is the researchers are claiming that they're even close to doubling the amount of carbon the substance can absorb just by modifying its structure. However, before we can say for sure that this is the miracle powder we hope it is to own the libs and prove that climate change isn't real, there's some obstacles to clear and more research to be done. The first obstacle is as it stands right now, it'd take 50,000 tons of the stuff to scrub a million tons of carbon dioxide per year. And coal plants routinely emit 10 to 20 million tons of carbon per year, so to scrub all that, you'd have to have more powder on hand than Don Jr. In addition to that, all of these observations have been made in a laboratory setting, and putting these into real-world applications could have some different results. For example, Creating an industrial exhaust filter with the material could end up being too restrictive to effectively be used in industrial applications. And even if it could be used, it could be restrictive enough to reduce efficiency, which would increase cost and make it less economical to be used. But as of now, there's lots of reasons to be optimistic about COF 999. And the fact that there's a powder potentially paving a path to protect our planet from our persistent proclivity for petroleum, or whatever those climate hoaxers say, well, that is pretty mind boggling. Potentially paving a path to protect our planet from our potentially paving a path to protect our planet from our persistent Peter Piper picked a pack of pickle. Pepe, damn, that was a hard one.